I'm Deanne Sinrich, and I'm a uh, litigation strategist. My name is David Sinrich, and I am uh, I'm a trial narratologist. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Usually, the way we work is David does a lot of talking, and then I go, "Okay, wait, I got it." <laughs> yeah. well, we both, we both, we, we, we both do this thing, which is we make each other stuff better, yeah. and we try and do that with the people we work with. We help lawyers get ready for trial. We help them tell their stories and figure out their strategies and work with witnesses to present their best selves and story to the jury. When you're doing criminal defense, people are predisposed to make assumptions to judge. Very, very often they know things that frame the defendant in a way that the defendant already has to overcome. It puts the defendant behind the eight ball from the beginning. I think the important thing about telling stories for juries is that that's how we relate as human beings. We all have our own story about why we make the choices that we make. The jury system is really no different. When I first started working with Andy Sheldon, probably 20 years ago, he was working with Doug and had done work with Georgia Justice Project at the time. And Doug asked us to be involved with one of his cases and we've been assisting and helping out when asked ever since. One of the things that I most appreciate about working with Georgia Justice Project is that you get the opportunity to work with clients who would not otherwise be able to benefit from what we do. About two years ago, we worked on a criminal murder case. It was a self-defense case, and we were meeting with the young man who had shot his uncle due to some years of abuse. And I remember sitting in that room with him and he was talking about how wonderful his grandfather was. And I think I asked him, well, what made, what made your relationship with your grandfather so special? And he said he always made sure that we had toilet paper and paper towels and we had a place to sleep. And that sort of sums up for me why I personally want to do everything I can to help this young man. And we did. I like working with Georgia Justice Project because in the experiences I've had, in the cases we've worked on, a lot of times there are these really driven, excited, enthusiastic, skilled people, a lot of them fairly young, who are very committed to their client, they're very committed to the, to the case. They often are struggling with maybe not having all the resources that would be great to have. And so it's been really not only great to help be a resource, but they are really appreciative and enthusiastic about having that assistance. And um, they're so committed to their client that you feel like you're, you're involved in something that is, is, is very strong sense of, of value. What is valuable is that Doug and his lawyers and Rachel and the people that we have worked with have made it their mission to take on these cases and help these individuals that would otherwise not have the access to the kind of services that people with money, resources, and influence have. And so I feel like it is an honor to serve both Georgia Justice Project and their clients. Damn, that is so in the video. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Good.